Good morning, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an author and addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under channel Take Your Life Back Today show. I want to talk to you about five things God cannot do. I know you're surprised because you say God can do everything. God can do anything and everything. The hope and help this truth offers is a balm to my soul when I'm in need of answered prayer and strength to move on. But there is also comfort in looking at the things God doesn't do. It doesn't, uh, uh, well I should say it's not that he can't. We know he can do anything because he is God, but it's more that he won't uh, or that his character is not capable of evil. And those are the things I know he can't do then. So let's take a few minutes and uncover a few things God doesn't or can't do. And I'm so thankful that he doesn't. Ah, Lord God, it is you who have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and by your outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. You can find that in Jeremiah 32, 17. So number one is God does not fail. Before I lay my head on my pillow each night, I am faced with the reality of my sin nature. Failure is a part of humanity. It comes into this world with each of us. But God doesn't sin. His holiness is what makes him God. Without sin, he holds the power to forgive sin, to cover sin, to uncover sin, to reveal, convict, and pardon all sin. Friends, number two is God does not fear. We are living in a day and age where fear is everywhere. It only takes one look at the state of current events to ignite fear in the heart of even the most faithful. There are a lot of difficult circumstances surrounding us. It seems fear and worry are more common now than have ever been before. But God, uh, but God does not fear because he is the author of the opposite of fear. Rather than fear, he is peace. Rather than fear, he is rest. Rather than fear, he is hope. And rather than fear, he is faith. He is love. We have no need to live in fear with God because God conquers all fear. He is perfect and in his perfect love there is no place for fear. Number three on my list is God does not forsake his children. You and I are his children. God will not leave you to figure out life on your own. He walks with his children and loves them very much. So if you're in Christ you have the promise of living with him day by day. You have access to him at all times and he will never ever leave you to walk alone. Number four on my list is God does not misunderstand. He doesn't misunderstand. Have you ever felt like uh, maybe someone completely misunderstood what you did uh, or maybe something that you said? God cannot misunderstand. He knows the deepest thoughts and and sense of your heart. He knows your motives and your desires. He doesn't try to twist your words or read into your actions. He already knows. He won't misquote you or derive a story from a few secondhand facts. God already understands, always knows the whole story. This gives me sweet peace when I feel like no one gets me because I know for a fact God does. And lastly, God does not make mistakes. Oops, I didn't mean for that to happen. God will never say that. God doesn't accidentally slip up or mess up. He won't let you down. Even when things seem like they aren't working out quite right, God is always at work for good. He takes the most messed up, broken things and makes good from them. God is not waiting to see if you can get out of the mess you are in or um, if you're wondering how your life might turn out. He is working to extend grace and mercy for you. While well, God can do anything it is a battle cry I won't stop saying and claiming. I'm also comforting or comforted in knowing that these things that God won't do. God is my king and my shepherd, my friend and my father. And I am so very thankful that no matter what, my friends, his mercy is always extended and his promises are constantly true.
Let's praise him this morning for the way he won't let us down or lead us astray. God is not misunderstanding or getting ready to leave if you mess up or uh, uh, even one more time. He's here to stay, and his love isn't going to ever, ever let you down. Call me at 844-405-HELP. Together, you and I, we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves and always be good to each other. Remember, a simple smile to anyone can change their day, can make their day, and can change your life. For God so loved the world that he gave us his only son. How many of us grandparents and parents would give up our son or grand grandson for the sake of humanity? Not many, if any, but God did it for us. Never forget that. Ask God into your life and ask God for guidance.